This is a video uh, detailing this uh, tape loop that I made last week. When I made it, I had the tape recorder hooked up to the radio, and I was taping the uh, classical radio station. And so I kept taping it as the loop was going round and round and round and round. You could see the edit there on the other side as I could see it coming around, so I knew when to stop the tape so I could have a full loop. And then on the other side, I didn't have anything on it, so I thought, you know, I'll make a rhythm tape loop. So what I did was, I used various sounds. I used this. So that's why I put on first. I got these little screws in this, so... I overdubbed that. And then the next thing was, I took this little uh, chopstick and just... I think I did all that at the same speed, at seven and a half eps. I think I added to the shakers. I added my hookah. I did that at uh, half speed, at three and three quarter ips. The last thing I added was uh, tambourine. I don't remember how we did it. So I'm gonna play you the tape. And right now it's basically three beats of a four beat bar. I didn't mean to do that. I, I meant to start it as a six eight. As you can hear, you can hear the three trash cans, the shakers, and then the switch over to the final master. Play it back at to half speed. Sounds kind of cool at half speed. When you record, you... What I usually record into, I record into stereo. Right now I only have a mono microphone, so it'll show up on this track, the 1-4. And then as I bounce over to 2, 3, what you do is you use this control, the radio phono control, you use this to, to play the previous track as you're bouncing, and then you use the microphone input accordingly to make sure you don't distort the tape. The VU meter doesn't work, so I basically have to wing it every time. And uh, when I play back, I don't use the speakers. I use I, I plug in my headphones. And also, when you bounce, you have to press the multi-play button as you're recording. Luckily, with the loop, the sound doesn't degrade from each loop, so you you have the chance to rehearse it and perfect the overdub for the loop, which I thought was pretty good. So the only reason I made this tape loop this long was so I could get it around the uh, reel. I just wanted to have a loop just to see what I could do with it. Let's see what it sounds like backwards. <laughs> sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? If you find one of these little tape machines that can do these little uh, recordings, go hog wild. It's pretty cool.